myself with an iron. Mother. It's Friday, my peoples. That means I got another killer DIY and I'm really excited. Um, if you've never been to this channel, what up? My name's Orly Shani. Welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you like today's video. And if you do, I really hope that you will uh, tell me so in the comment section. If you're a new subscriber, tell me so, so I can thank you personally. Um, and uh, if you like what you see, I hope you do subscribe because, you know, sort of matters. So thank you in advance. Today I am doing something that's been like super highly requested from a DIY that I did a little while ago. It's this bad boy right here. Not these bad boys, which are fairly non-existent unless I'm wearing a padded bra. Talking about the safety pin necklace. So I made this necklace, I wanna say like maybe a year and a half ago, um, and it was inspired off of a Marc Jacobs necklace. Every time I wear it, first of all, I still wear it all the time, and every time I wear it, I get compliments, I get stopped, people ask where I bought it, and I get to have that fun moment of saying, oh my God, really, I made it. Thanks for noticing. Now, a little disclaimer, a little disclaimer. I am not a uh, expert at jewelry making, okay? So, if you watching this video are an expert jewelry maker, please do not get all angry in the comments about my lack of, you know, impeccable jewelry making skills. I'm gonna show you a really good DIY for how to do this. And if you've never made jewelry before, then I'll show you how to do it in a really simple way. That's kind of a cool hack. Okay, I think that's it. Weird guy just rode by on his bike with a boombox on his shoulder, like it's 1984. That was amazing. necklaces right here I got downtown they were 75 cents I don't even know if that's possible but they were 75 cents and they don't have closures or anything on the back um you guys know that brand Dylan Lex god I'm obsessed with them it's so expensive though so I had an idea of doing kind of like a Dylan Lex inspired one so I'm going to be using two of those um but if you have a statement necklace as long as it has an opening to put a jump ring on, you can like add this to any statement necklace. To do the version that I have here, which is the double version, you can use a single chain like this. But we're gonna start with the Dylan Lex version. So the first thing you need to do is connect your two separate necklaces to make them one. You don't have to use a dress form, you can use your own body. It's just easier for me to show it this way. So what you wanna do is take a jump ring, which I'll show you how to open and close in a second. Open it and hold it with your pliers, attaching it to the end of the chain of your longer necklace. Now take it and attach it to the shorter necklace that's actually up high on your neck. This is deciding the placement so that you solidify the right sort of drape and separation between your two necklaces. Now take your safety pins and just start dividing them by size. The safety pins should all be the exact same tone of metal, but you want to have multiple sizes of safety pins. You also want to have multiple sizes and shapes of beads. These beads are awesome because they come on a string and you can find like the same exact color tone but in different sizes and shapes, which will give your necklace just a really nice sort of dimension and variety. Now drop them on, literally just putting each bead directly onto the safety pin. You'll see there's sort of a sweet spot. Like I looked at this one and I'm like, man, I think I can fit probably another one. But once I dropped it on, I realized, no, it was too tight and I wasn't enough pin left over to actually close the safety pin. So you'll get the hang of it. You'll see about how many you can fit on each one and then you just wanna make a bunch. I would say maybe like 10 to 12 of each um, size and style and you can see here I not only am alternating sizes of safety pins but sizes and shapes of beads they're squares hexagons circles um, it's gonna look really nice now another thing I realized was to create a more natural slope between the two necklaces I should move that jump ring to the inner uh, the inside of the top necklace so instead of it was sitting on the outside chain I moved it to the inside chain and it laid much better now it was time to start by adding my two largest safety pins to the center if you have really large safety pins you want to make those like your anchors in the center front. So this is how you open a jump ring. Hold it with a set of pliers on one side. Grab another set of pliers and bend it like a door. You don't separate them away from each other, you bend them back and forth like doors. So hold on with one set of pliers once it's open and loop it onto an individual chain link on your main statement necklace. Now you just take your safety pin and you go through the bottom part. You're not attaching it by the top, you're attaching it by the bottom. Now just close it like a door and you can see it's free to sort of dangle and move about just like a charm. So again, take your jump ring with your pliers, drop it onto an individual chain link, drop your safety pin into that 
uh, jump ring and then just close it. Now it's perfectly in place. And now you wanna create your pattern. So you can see here, I'm going from my large safety pin to like a medium to a small, back out to a medium but a different style bead, back out to a small with a different style bead, and now you're attaching them. A really easy way to do this is to start with your main one and go over like one, two, three chains and add on a drop. Then go to the left, one, two, three chains and add on a pin. Keep going so that you're perfectly mirrored and your necklace has a nice symmetry as you move. Now, this is just obviously a step and repeat process. Continue to add them on until it starts to feel really nice and full. At this point, I thought, okay, I think I'm done, but I put it on the dress form and after looking at it, I realized it wasn't quite done. Not only did I need to add maybe one or two to the top, but I needed to add about five or six on the side to fill out the necklace in its entirety so it had like a more natural looking balance. So obviously, same exact thing, just keep dropping them on, creating balance, alternating sizes and shapes, and you can see it's basically done. I'm ready to go. I can't wait for you guys to see this one on. It is like sparkly and fabulous and wonderful. In the meantime though, I wanted to move on to the other style necklace. So to do this, you just take your chain and sort of drape it in the way that you think is nice between the top and the bottom, right? So however much drape you want. Once you decide on that, take a large jump ring, open it like a door, put it through the chain link in the necklace, not just through the chain, but through one individual link and now close it. This is now setting an anchor point for the right side of the necklace. Do the same thing with the left, and now take whatever you want. I use suede ribbon, but you don't have to. You can use anything that you want. You do a simple slip knot and pull it top. Now one side is done. Now do the same thing, simple slip knot, pull the suede ribbon through it, pull it taut, and now we have an adjustable strap for our necklace. So this is a really simple way, if you're not great with closures and clasps, this is like a really cool, fun way to make an adjustable necklace. So now I made a bunch of tiny little safety pins and you can see it's really important that the hardware all matches. So I've got gunmetal chain, gunmetal jump rings, and gunmetal safety pins. And these are all the same size, but slightly alternating in color. Okay, I think that's it. Look at that guy, so cute. Okay, so this is the best part about my non-fancy jewelry making style, is that these two little suede straps can make it adjustable. So if you wanna tie it up high and make it like a high choker with this little second one, you can. If you want it to hang down where you actually see the black suede and have it hang on like a loose blouse, you can do as many layers as you want. So it's really simple. I'm gonna try them on and show you guys how to wear them. <sighs> really happy, I've been wanting to do this video for a while. All right, let's go.